up YouTube? This is your girl Foxy Brown and as you can see I am not coming to you from the legendary House of Shea. I am coming to you from the Metropolitan Opera House at Lincoln Center in New York City. Hey guys, what's up? This is Foxy. I wanted to share this uh, video montage with you today. Um, it came up on my Facebook timeline or memory line last week. Uh, it was actually my Valentine's Day gift last year to my daughter. We went to the Metropolitan Opera House to see Porgy and Bess. And the one of the reasons it really struck me is because not only did we have a great time, but just in a matter of a couple of weeks, everything in New York and in the rest of the world, but definitely in our world, changed so fast. It was to the day that um, we went to see Porgy and Bess. The next month, the next on that same day, we were already on lockdown. And I remember my daughter telling me about Corona virus and how bad it was and how it was coming to the United States and I was you know sort of like okay you know but you know we're gonna be alright you know and it's just amazing how something like this that we took for granted was taken away so quickly and it's hard to see how something like this actually comes back again so anyway I also originally was going to share a portion of it anyway because sometimes when people are searching for tickets they'll ask someone or they'll search for um, on YouTube for a view for a particular section so I was gonna save this to do that but then right after we went you know just a few weeks later things changed so anyway I hope you will enjoy uh, Porgy and Bess was an amazing performance we really had a great time we also had dinner at the Met so I hope you guys will enjoy it okay thank you and happy Valentine's Day what's up you guys we are at Lincoln Center So this is what we're going to see, Porgy and Bess.
So that's where we're sitting over there. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you a short story about the Grand Tier where we had our dinner. Um, as you can see here, this is our dessert. So while we were eating dinner, our waiter, who was fabulous, came up to us and let us know that um, the show was about to start soon and that we could um, come back during intermission for our dessert. So we were on the same level as the restaurant, so that actually worked out quite well. And then I asked him for the bill, and he told me not to worry about it. He said, just come back. I said, so should we stand in line? And he said, no, just come right back to your seats. So when we came back into the restaurant during the admission, the entire room was filled with desserts at the table where everyone sat and as you can see the bill was sitting there for us and that was a it was a pretty hefty bill and I was pretty I guess you could say impressed <laughs> with the way they trusted everyone to come back so that kind of tells you I guess the what how they feel about their clientele that you know someone wouldn't you know skip out on a bill like that because I had personally never been anywhere where they would allow you to leave and then trust you to come back uh, to pay <laughs> so anyway that was uh, the uh, story for uh, the Grand Tier it was amazing that was the first time of course as from the store you can tell I'd ever eaten there um, you know we've been to the Met before but this was the first time I ate there and the food was great um, and the service was excellent. Our waiter was just phenomenal. So anyway, just to let you know, so if anyone is interested maybe um, when COVID is over and you'd like to go to see uh, the opera at the Met or anything at Lincoln Center, you can go to the ballet. And they have all kinds of great things. They have jazz there too. So anyway, I just thought I'd tell that part of the story. Okay, guys. Stage view from the Grand Tier, box 36. 